Welcome back to the Myers Minx number 93 build. We are going to try today to install the dash. And I'm sure there's going to be some grinding and fitting to get these two to meet up. And I've also bought these butt weld connectors. I've seen people use tape, I've seen people use other things. But I'm going to try these and see if this will get this to hold together so I can fiberglass it on. So, follow along for the journey. Alright boys and girls, so, sent the little guy in because this was pretty frustrating and even though he loves to help, I don't want to get all mad in front of him. So, got these little clamps. These are used for welding things to make a butt joint. You can get these at Harbor Freight, you can get them online, you can get them anywhere. But they're going to leave maybe about a little bit, about a sixteenth of an inch gap here. And so, there's going to be a little gap going along here, so I put painter's tape along here to catch any of the resin that's going to try and bleed out. Of course, pushed it down pretty good, but got, let's see, there's one on each side, two, four, six, seven of them on there. That gets this pretty flat across here. I did have to grind this a little bit, but I did not really show that. And now, let's get under here and see. A little bit of a gap there, it's as wide as the metal. It's going to get filled in with fiberglass and resin and all that. That all should go underneath the window gasket in the corners. I'm sure you could go and really spend your time and file this all down, but there was a little bit of a gap here, so I'm going to end up probably painting that with some satin black like this is. So I'm going to go get my fiberglass, flip this over, and go once again to where we can't stop. <laughs> All right, so we got fiberglass in there. Sorry to film any of that. I'm trying to do this and film is not really a great idea. At least for me, I really don't have anything to hold the camera well. Anyway, so you can still see the metal holders are in there. I'm going to leave those in there until it's pretty much dried up. My plan is hopefully I can pull the little blocks out and pull the... Um, the little clamps through using the uh, wing nuts. Hopefully they don't get stuck. If they get stuck somehow we'll find a way to cut them off and they can just be in there. Alright, so anyways, those are only a couple bucks anyways. We mm -hmm. used West Systems Epoxy. You can find this on the internet. That's where I bought this. I think I bought it on Amazon. Bought it for, you don't need this much at all. Alright, I used some fiberglass I bought on Amazon also, it is not the mesh mat, but it's the woven stuff. It was a little thick. I'd say go a little lighter on there, then you can get the resin all the way through it. But, gotta let it dry up now. And it fit pretty well. I've heard about some of them not fitting correctly up to like a quarter inch on the sides. This one fit pretty well, but this is for the new classic Manx body. I've, the people at talked about that had the early bodies so you know maybe on a early Myers that's a thing and not on these anyways boys and girls get out there and get your projects done don't forget to like and subscribe